so welcome back to the channel and another little update so it's been almost a week since I've broken down um, and the fallout from that is literally that I've had to order the part so a replacement drive shaft um, brand new excuse me for one of these vans for a Peugeot Boxer is uh, it's gonna cost me about 200 pounds so that part's been ordered. It is due to, this is Saturday today, uh, and it is due to be delivered on Tuesday next week. So hopefully that will arrive next week sometime. And then I've already spoken to the garage about getting the van fixed. So we will hopefully have the van fixed either next week or the week after. That's uh, the plan as well. So, but it, again, it, it now all depends on the part arriving and then getting it into the mechanics which we've already spoken to seeing when they're available to get it fixed and then just take it from there step by step simple as that so it's not major i can still drive the van around short journeys to shops and stuff but my plan now is to stay here at mule uh, until it's back on the road <clears throat> and get a few other jobs doing so the first job that i'm going to do today is clean up the front of the boob van so let's switch the camera and i'll show you what i've been doing so i have just removed uh the front grill protector which is this here so that's removed i'm going to give that a clean up and obviously that is the front end of the van where it's been on for a couple of years so what I'm going to be doing is I need to clean all this up uh, and then need to get some tools and remove this part of the, the vent and all that sort of stuff. And basically I'm going to try and wrap in black the bonnet. But one of the first things I need to do is remove this. This should be just stuck on, so that should remove up. Then I'm going to get some isopropanol, clean up the whole bonnet before applying the, uh, the vinyl to it. So. I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just using my trusty knife. The lion no longer roars. So that's just came off. It's just a bit of sticky back plastic on there. Uh, and then what I can do is get some clean up agent and clean that so that go over there so while I wait to get this in, in here if you look along here this part all this needs to come out so I need to get some tools to get all these out and basically remove all that which then in turn removes all this so that means I can then vinyl wrap through that underneath and then just put that back in and it will just look clean and tidy so that's the plan all right see you in a bit so i've just given this a clean up removed all the crap obviously there's still an outline of where the line was but that's fine because basically once i wrap this as long as i clean it up with uh, get all the grease off and all that sort of stuff the marks will be covered over by the vinyl and the uh bonnet protector is still going to go back on anyway so yeah all good failed in my attempt to wrap the bonnet because obviously one i can't find the big roll of vinyl that I, I did have i don't know where it's gone i've checked the whole of the unit no idea where it's gone so i failed in my attempt to clean the bonnet but i have been carrying out a few other things now i did say i was going to <laughs> shut up paint the van and that didn't materialize because it's been heavy rain here at mule so with raptor to be able to paint that i need at least 72 hours for it to set and dry and cure and all that sort of stuff so leaving it outside overnight when it gets damp and rainy as it has been would not be the sensible idea you're right there stinky You're right. On your raised pallet wood bed. Hey. Okay. 
So I do have another plan for painting the sides of the van and that will happen hopefully in a couple more weeks when um, I think Sean's van is going to be going off for a couple of weeks uh, which is Sean's over there working on his van. It's Sunday today. Uh, yeah, his van's probably going to go away for a few weeks for some work to be done on it. So that might mean one weekend uh, the unit here is free where I can just drive the van in get it sanded on a Thursday, drive the van in on a Friday, paint, leave the van inside and sleep in the van inside the unit all weekend. That gives it at least 72 hours then in a dry environment to settle properly. So that's the long-term plan. So yeah, fingers crossed on that one. So what else have we been up to? Been having a bit of a clean up in here. I used to have this all covered in stickers, uh, but they got old and tatty. Um, so what I've done is you can actually take the door card out behind it is some uh, like rubber and some cardboard so I took that out I found an old bit of black vinyl so I've just coated that in black vinyl and that's that done so that looks a bit cleaner now fingers crossed for that as well that it will stay that way well one of the things is that uh, Sharon bought me the other day when I was up in the Lake District is this 600 watt kettle so that is in the big enough for two cups of coffee um, which was a hint from her to start making coffee in the morning for her and all that sort of stuff so yeah that's been an absolute game changer one I'm less relying on gas two it uses about two amps to boil a kettle uh, which is no power at all so it means that has been an absolute game changer and I'll leave a link for this little kettle 600 watts uses about two amps to boil the kettle game changer other little things that I've been doing uh, I used to have a bulkhead screen that comes down there and that was screwed into the side so I've just removed the screws so I can take that up but also drop it back down uh, we just wanted a bit more space so other people can sit in the van so I've always had a swivel seat that's always been in there, but I've never been able to swivel the seat around. So that's now able to give me more space, more light as well in the van, which is again, a game changer, which is what I wanted. Uh, and the bulkhead screen will be going off to be retailed and the zip, which comes down here now, will be over this side. So that whole sheet will then come up and this will give me uh, the swivel seat option for more seating. For more people what else have i been doing well my car purdy screen which uh, i absolutely love um fell off on the way i mounted it so on the back of here uh you've got like this plastic uh, pop-up uh notepad thing when you're driving and i've got my osmo action attached to that when i'm driving so to film footage so all i've done is literally drilled uh, through the mounts and then we can see no it's hidden by wires but basically the mounts that I use I've drilled through them uh, and I've drilled into this plastic cover not the actual stereo and I've just put some sticky double-sided sticky tape onto the mounts and then a small uh, self-taping screw and that is now more solid than ever before and works a treat and then I've just used a bit of this conduit just to put all the cables in and tidy it all up a little bit better than having three or four different cables. So I've got my power cable running into my Osmo Action, the power cable running into the car purdy, and the aux in and out cable running from that into the actual stereo unit in, in the cab. So again, sat nav, music, Spotify, all comes through the cab we're driving. So yeah, another little thing that we've managed to do over the past few days. So other little things uh, I am thinking about, um, I've been offered some what they call Van der Moon boxes. Um, they're designed for Peugeot Boxer. Um, one is bigger than this cupboard here uh, and they look amazing. And the second small one would fit right at the back just down there. So that would be pretty cool as well. The only thing about them is they secure to some l track so if i do purchase them 
Uh, I am then going to have to remove quite a bit of the roof and down the sides here um, and fit some l track into the van which then means I can just mount the boxes to uh, the l track and then just secure them in with the locking nuts that come with it with the fitting kit. So yeah, I'm in the process of uh, in talks about them. I've been offered them cheaper and all that sort of stuff. So I am planning to do that. So one of the things uh, I was talking about earlier in the video was a thing called a Vandermoon box. And these are like pre-made cupboards made of um, lightweight aluminium plastics and, and obviously come in different sizes of fabrics and all that sort of stuff. Um, a friend of mine uh, had bought these for his own van, which was a Peugeot Boxer, but he then decided he didn't want them. So another friend of mine has kindly lent me the money to buy these, and I've got the Van der Moon boxes here. So I'll show you. There are two sizes that I've got. Uh, the first one is a big one, which is going to replace like the kitchen cabinet, um, what was made out of all pallet wood and just reclaimed wood and all that sort of stuff. And the second one is a smaller one. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the Vandermoon boxes that I've got. So this is the big one. Uh, it's still in its full, but basically this is a anthracite gray, um, really lightweight, really simple, and comes with loads of storage. But on the outside as well, it comes with excess storage, even underneath it has like little pockets uh, to store extra stuff in. So basically that one will replace that cupboard there and hopefully at the weekend i'm going to get that moved in so as you can see by the size it comes to where uh, this panel is here and that will just fit in along there it'll give me more storage it will make everything look better as well compared to like this old pallet wood even though i love it and just tidy everything up and they look amazing as well The second box, which is smaller, uh, doesn't have the plastic cover on, so you can see it better. Um, basically, that is going to fit into that corner there above the bed. And as you can see, it comes with all those little Velcro pockets, little clips for attaching stuff, the zips itself. Um, like I said, underneath comes with extra storage for stuff, more clips, just a really clever idea. And when you look inside as well, it drops down, uh, it gives you like a little plastic shelf. You can see like the mountain areas um, all along the top and all that sort of stuff to be able to mount it to the wall. It comes with fixing and extra storage inside the door as well. So that again is like a little game changer for the van. So there's the uh, Vandermoon cupboards and all that sort of stuff. So these, uh, I'll try and find a link and leave them for you. They're not cheap, uh, but you can see me just lifting that up. That is so lightweight compared to uh, making your own cupboards or making them out of wood or aluminium and all that sort of stuff. So it's really a game changer. So I'm really happy with that style. Um, so yeah. So one of the things that I'm planning to do with those random moon boxes if i do have them is this cabinet that i built just out of uh some old wood that had lying around and all that sort of stuff is probably use those random moon boxes to replace this whole cabinet now that would mean i wouldn't have space for my tv underneath the cabinet like i normally have i'd have to reconfigure the tv somewhere but that, those two boxes all the way would come all the way to about here, which I think would look pretty cool. And it would give me a lot more storage as well. And having the two shelves inside will allow me to stack my clothes and all that sort of stuff in such a better way. So, yeah, I mean, it would mean I'd have to take some of the ceiling down and possibly fit the L track and uh, put some old track in across here as well which would allow me to mount the boxes to it so it's just one of those things I need to think about now so um, yeah I'm gonna spend uh, the rest of the week and get some advice off Sharon um, and see what she thinks as well of those 
So yeah, but, but I think that would look pretty nice up there and get rid of that rather than painting all this in a grey. So that would, anyway, I'm waffling. It's one of those things. In other good news, uh, my drive shaft arrived yesterday. My van is now booked in uh, for Thursday next week. Uh, so hopefully I'll get the van in and the drive shaft fitted. And I have kindly asked as well if they will fit my rear shocks while they're doing that so which they're gonna have a look at doing for me so hopefully by next Thursday by next Friday fingers crossed there's no other issues that the van will be fixed the drive shaft will be fitted and I'll be back on the road as such so there we go there's my weekly roundup and update so again thank you all for watching all that sort of stuff thank you for subscribing uh, it only means a lot to us and all that sort of stuff and we'll see you soon on the next video when we hopefully have more updates see you later bye <laughs> you gonna say goodbye are you a good boy you've been an amazing boy aren't you oh, i love you so much <laughs> i love you so much you're the best <laughs> excuse me you gonna say goodbye say see you later alligator